Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one challenging question from radical simplifications. Expression given is square root of 2 plus x square plus square root of 1 minus x square times 4 minus x square. So let's get started by considering given expression equal to y. Now we can write our expression as square root of 2 plus x square plus square root of I will multiply these two brackets. So I will be writing 1 times 4, 4, 1 times minus x square minus x square minus x square times 4 minus 4x square minus x square times minus x square. So plus x, x power 4. x power 4 minus 5x square plus 4. We can write further square root of 2 plus x square plus square root of x power 4 as it is. Now minus 5x square. Can we write plus 4x square minus 9x square? This is minus 5x square plus 4 as it is. Now I can write 2 plus x square plus square root of. Now I will be writing x power 4 plus 4x square plus 4. And then I will write minus 9x square. Further we can write square root of. 2 plus x square plus square root of. I will write this is one perfect square. It is whole square of x square plus 2. And minus 9x square can be written as 3x whole square. Now here I will apply the difference of two squares identity which is a square minus b square, we can write a plus b times a minus b. So we can write further y equal to a square root of 2 plus x square plus a square root of x square plus 2 plus 3x in one bracket. In other it will be x square plus 2 minus 3x. Now I can write y equal to. I will write square root. Then I will write 2 over 2. And then we have the same radicand 2 plus x square plus the square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 times x square minus 3x plus 2. Now I will take this 2 inside. So I can write square root of 2 times 2 plus x square. Then we can write plus 2 times square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 times x square minus 3x plus 2. And in denominator, I will write now square root of 2. Using the property of radical, it is square root of a over b. We can write any time square root of a divided by square root of b. Now I will multiply these two brackets basically 2 with x square plus 2. So I can write further y equal to 
the square root of I will write 2x square plus 4 then I will be writing plus 2 times the square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 and then I can write x square minus 3x plus 2 and denominator is a square root of 2. Now y equal to a square root of 2x square plus 4 it is. So let me split. I will write x square plus 2. Again I will write x square plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2 times the bracket x square plus 3x plus 2 and x square minus 3x plus 2. Denominator is a square root of 2. Now I will use one manipulation step. It would be y equal to a square root of here I will write x square plus 3x plus 2. I added 3x. So I will subtract 3x also. And it will be here minus 3x plus 2. And then we have unchanged terms 2 times the square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 inside the square root times x square minus 3x plus 2 and denominator is a square root of 2. Further I can write y equal to a square root of I will write a square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 whole square. plus a square root of x square minus 3x plus 2 whole square and then we have 2 times the product of these two brackets x square plus 3x plus 2 times a square root of x square minus 3x plus 2 this is our numerator divided by square root 2. Now you can see this is one identity from algebra. If I will see then inside the radical a square plus b square plus 2 times a times b which we can write it is a plus b whole a square. So I will be writing y equal to this will become a plus b whole square. So I will write the square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 plus the square root of x square minus 3x plus 2. Now I will be writing whole square and root is there divided by square root 2. Now square root and power 2 we can cancel. Now what is left in the numerator? I will write y equal to square root of x square plus 3x plus 2 plus square root of x square minus 3x plus 2 divided by root 2. This is our answer or we can factorize our radicands. Here I can write it is x plus 1 times x plus 2 plus square root of. If I will factorize this is x minus 1 times x minus 2 divided by root 2. 
how it is x square plus 3x plus 2. We can split 3x as x plus 2x plus 2. Take x common from first two, x plus 1. Take 2 common from last two, x plus 1. So factorization is x plus 1 times x plus 2. Similarly, the second radicand x square minus 3x plus 2. So this is our answer. And another form in which we can express, let me write here, y equal to square root of x plus 1 times x plus 2 divided by 2 plus square root of x minus 1 x minus 2 divided by 2. So we can write in this way also. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.